Kevin. Awesome. Holy cow. So listen, th there's no nice way to put it. This game's incredibly bad. Unbelievably bad. It's more than just hollow design and boring gameplay. It's also technical stuff. Froze our PS3 not once, but twice, forcing us to restart and reevaluate our chosen profession. Maybe I could have been a gumshoe. Speaking of which, I, I think this situation calls for a little detective work. This thing's pretty bad, but uh, there's gotta be a reason. Games aren't just this bad for no reason. So let's review the facts here. This game is based on a TV show, and I was informed by one of our robot slaves here at Classic Game Room that the show was cancelled in early 2013. And then months later, several versions of the game were cancelled too. And then a month after that, this version was released for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Ended up being so bad, we're literally pretending to be detectives to figure out why. It's been so boring lately. Please, I'm just hoping for a little mayhem, you know? But I do have a theory. It turns out it's elementary, my Emma Watson. I'm guessing this was already in development when the show was cancelled, but, you know, the release was still months away, so they had to finish it, but since it doesn't make sense to spend a ton of money on a game based on a show that would have been cancelled for almost a year by the time the game comes out, this is what you get. A game that feels unfinished, unpolished, and frankly, unfunded. Alright, now bring on Carmen San Diego. I'm ready to take the case! Another poor performance, baby girl! Consider getting out of the game! You know what I'm not ready to take? This game. Unless I'm taking it out with the trash. Holy crap, this thing's bad! So I guess it's, it's supposed to tell the story of what happened between the show's first, and from what I can gather, only two seasons. All I know is, a bunch of famous superheroes are still little kids, but for some reason, Batman's a full-grown man. Bat. Batman. So babies and adults at the same time. It's like Mario Kart, but with less racing. In terms of the gameplay, things are a lot less interesting. I mean, you could call it an action RPG, but in the same way Ghostbusters is a historical film about Babylonian history. You're an XP for mashing buttons, and you use that XP to level up your characters. Fortunately, you only have four things to upgrade per character, so... I mean, not much of a choice, per se. And even when you level them up, they, they don't really feel all that different, which effectively neuters the one thing that could make this boring gameplay, at the very least, rewarding. <laughs> Now, it's a lot more accurate to call this a beat-em-up, with some minor RPG elements. Each character has light and heavy attacks, and by attack, I mean like, like one of each. Mash buttons in various order to unleash various combos against your various enemies, none of which seem terribly various. Young Justice has the kind of mindless gameplay that fares much better in multiplayer, and fortunately it does have local and online multiplayer. Good luck finding anyone who wants to play it with you. You've probably noticed too, but it, the game's not very good looking, either. In fact, if you would've told me this was an Xbox game, I'd have believed you. And by Xbox, I mean the original Xbox. From its character models, to its environments, ugh. Young Justice it seriously looks ten years old. Seriously. And, that, and that'd be fine if it had an interesting style, but it doesn't. It doesn't have interesting music, either. Just the same couple of songs keep repeating over and over. And there's bugs, and glitches, and freezes. Oh, and did I mention freezes? And that was before I got to the ice world. So, it's not very well designed. The levels are basically empty, and frankly, so is the gameplay. It's not very well made either, so... I don't know what to tell you. If you're a fan of the show, this game will probably break your heart. From the sound of it, your heart's already taken a beating. What with the cancellations and all. It's like that... It's like the one X who you sometimes think about, but... You know, it's probably better just leave that one alone. You know? Just... Just stay away. That's, that's what Young Justice Legacy is. Just stay away. Excellent work, team. You saved a lot of lives today. You too, Green Lantern. Alpha Squad to Cave. We're headed home.